Welcome to Lecture Online. Now we're going to start a section where we're going to learn how to do operations with exponents. And there's quite a few rules we should be familiar with. For example, when you multiply two numbers together and have different exponents, but the base is the same, this is called the base and this is called the exponent, then this is equal to x to the sum of the exponents. But when you divide like this, x to the n divided by x to the m, then you subtract exponents. If you have something that looks like 1 over x to the n power, this can be written as x to the minus n power. By simply bringing it to the numerator, it changes the sign. Or, if you want to bring it to the denominator, x to the minus n brought to the denominator becomes x to the 1 over x to the positive n. Or, I can do one more rule. For example, if you have x to the n, that can be written as 1 over x to the minus n. Whenever you move from the denominator to the numerator, or from the numerator to the denominator, the sign of the exponent changes. Here you can see that if you have an exponent raised to another exponent, x to the n raised to the n power, this is equal to x to the n times m. Here you multiply the exponents. And if you have a fractional exponent, notice the number at the bottom is the root of the number, the number at the top is the exponent of the number. If you raise anything to the zero power, that always gives you one, no matter what is here unless what's there is equal to zero, which you don't want to do. And if you have something like this, x to the n power divided by y to the m power, and the whole thing is raised to the p power, you simply multiply the exponent with the exponent in the denominator like that. So those are most of the rules that you need to know. Let's now apply those rules to our example. Notice in the denominator I have a negative 2 exponent. Now, it turns out there's many ways in which you can get to the correct answer. So perhaps this one I will do in two different ways to show you that you can get to the same answer applying the rules in a different order. But what I'm going to do first is move this to the numerator to turn it into a positive exponent. So this becomes equal to x to the 2 thirds, that stays the same y to the second power, that stays the same, but this is now going to go to the numerator because I'm changing a negative 2 to a positive 2 exponent. So this becomes x cubed, y to the minus 5 power, raised to the positive 2 power. Now I'm going to use the rule over here when you have something raised to an exponent, like this, you multiply exponents. So I'm going to apply that rule right here. This is equal to x to the 2 thirds, y to the second power, x cubed raised to the second power, that's 3 times 2, which is x to the sixth power, and y to the minus 5 power raised to the second power is y to the minus 10 power. The next thing I can do is multiply the x's together and multiply the y's together. Since the bases are the same, all I have to do is add the exponents. So this is equal to x to the 2 thirds power plus 6 and y to the second power minus 10. I'm adding a 2 and a negative 10 together. Here I'm adding a 2 thirds and a 6 together. So finally when I simplify this, this can be written as x to the 6 and 2 thirds, y to the minus 8. Now I don't like negative exponents. Typically you don't want to leave things in terms of negative exponents, so we can move the y to the negative 8 to the denominator and turn into y to the positive 8. So this can be written as x to the 6 and 2 thirds power divided by y to the 8 power. Now you may say, I don't like 6 and 2 thirds, that's a mixed number. Well, you could write that as 20 over third power, but it really doesn't matter. 6 and 2 thirds, or you could say 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is x to the 20 over 3 power divided by y to the 8 power. Either way, the answer is correct and you could leave it in either form. But that's how we get to this point. I said, I could do it another way, and there's probably multiple ways in which this can be done. Let me try one more different way. Instead of moving this to the numerator, I can simply multiply this as is. So this can now be written as x to the 2 thirds times y to the second power divided by, again using the rule that I'm multiplying exponents together, this is x to the minus 6 power and y to the positive 10 power. Now notice I have something in the form that I have over here. x to the n power divided by x to the n power is equal to x to the n minus m. It's the uh, top exponent minus the bottom exponents. So this can be simplified as follows. This can be written as x to the 2 thirds power minus a minus 6. I'm subtracting the exponent from down below. 
And I can do the same with the y exponents, y raised to the 2 minus 10 power. Simplifying this, this is equal to x to the 2 thirds plus 6 power, and this is y to the minus 8 power. And finally, again, I can move the y to the minus 8 to the denominator to turn that into a positive exponent, and I can combine these two, so this becomes x to the 6 and 2 thirds power divided by y to the 8 power, which I have right down here, which again could be written as x to the 20 over 3 power divided by y to the 8 power. So you can see that as long as you utilize the rules in a proper way, the order doesn't matter as much, and you can get to the very same answer in various ways. And that's how it's done.